Hi, my name is Patrick Smith, a technical specialist here at ATG USA. Today's tech talk, we're going to be going over QTO Manager and how to assign pay items for QTO Manager. To start off, we're going to want to do is come up to your Analyze tab, go over to the QTO panel, and select QTO Manager. So if you don't have anything populated here, you need to assign pay items list to your uh, QTO manager. In order to do that, you're going to come up here. You can either click on the folder or click on the drop down arrow here. You're going to go to open pay item file. All right, and that's going to come up with this dialog box here. If you do not have any pay items, don't worry. Um, out of the box civil 3d comes with a um, huge uh, list of pay items that you can pull from and create your own and that is located on all autodesks or all civil 3d um, programs the direction or the way you get to that is going to be under the root directory c and all computers so you're going to go then to program data then Autodesk, Civil 3D, and the year that you are uh, Civil of Civil 3D that you're using right now. I am using Civil 3D 2021, so that's the one I have open. Enya, data, pay item data, and then getting started. And then from and there is going to be the Excel file or CSV file that is what you're going to be needing for your. QTO manager so you can select that one it's got about 4,000 different pay items in there so you might want to narrow it down a little bit All right. and that's what I did with mine here I recreated it from that list that I got from the out of the box and I just picked a general few items from there and uh, created my own pay items list uh, narrowed down version of that all right. Once you have that loaded here, you're going to you'll have your list of items that you can choose from. And simply all you do from there is let's say I wanted to assign pay, pay items to fire hydrants. Now I've only got a couple here. However, so the uh, technique is still the same. You're going to select your fire hydrant here. Select similar. Go to your hydrant here on the list. You're going to select your hydrant, right click on that, assign pay item. All right. And then you know, once you, you can hover over top of that item. And as you notice there in the uh, pop up, from just hovering over top of it, you'll get a fire hydrant um, pay item assigned to it right there. You can also assign pay items to pipe networks. You can assign pay items to polylines. You can assign pay items to really any civil 3D object. Um, as you can see here, I have pay items assigned to these pipes here and my pipe network. You can see pay, pay item at the bottom there, 18 inch PVC pipe. I also have pay items assigned to structures as well. So this storm sewer manhole has a pay item oh this one does not have one assigned to it so we can assign one to it right now so what i'm going to do here i'm going to select this one right click select similar grabbing all of them there we're going to go over to the manhole here and i think i'm just going to assign it to catch basin type 2 assign pay item there now all of the as long as they're all the same um, and they're all you, you get select everything that you want to assign that pay item everything should be fine all right next up let's go ahead and generate a QTO uh, report so to do that you're gonna go make sure that you're at the analyze tab go over to your QTO panel then take off. For this demonstration, we're just going to leave everything default and hit compute down here at the bottom. 
what's going to come up is this report here. It kind of looks like a whole bunch of gibberish. However, um, down here at the bottom left, you uh, it's actually using .xsl. Uh, and we are just going to use HTML to get a better look at this. So here you can see um, I did two catch base or six total quantity catch base and, and, and you know everything that shows up that is from the uh, Excel sheet CSV file. The other thing that you can do so you can print this out here or you can uh, draw it out onto your plan. You can do that from that draw button and then place it right here in your sheet as well. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.